Hey guys, welcome back to Jamal Rule 16. I am your host Javon, and welcome back to another disaster made by Koei Tecmo. It's Fatal Frame: Mask of the Lunar Eclipse for the PC. Today I'm running this on my Intel Core i3-10105 with the AMD RX 600 8GB VRAM graphics card. I run it with 16GB DDR4 RAM in dual channel memory, and as you can see, it's a Koei Tecmo port once again. They just remastered the game a bit, you know. Give it a little sprucing here and there, you know, a little dash, a dash, a little texture update there, here, and then called it a day and charged forty nine ninety nine for it. It's Koei Tecmo, shocking no one. Anyway, so I had to go to full screen to get VSync off. Um, there's no option to turn off VSync in here. We only have three options. I'm pretty sure like Made of Blackwater had the same thing. Although I have seen that the FPS issue with Koei Tecmo isn't prevalent here. So we're running at 1080p high, and I'm going to enable turn off VSync when we get into the game. Obviously, the frame rate is just way too damn high right now, so yeah. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more of my content. We're going to be going from the biggest, from the RC 600, all the way down to the Intel HD 4600. This is going to be a complete PC port report, so we're going to really figure out what's running here, what runs well, what doesn't, yada, yada, yada. And I'm just going to go with it. Now, the specs weren't high for this game. And it only was like 8 gigabytes to download or something like that. It wasn't big. We're only using 1 gigabyte of VRAM so far. It's an old game. It's a Wii game. That is simply, uh, you know, like I said, just give it a little dash dash up. It runs fine. I kind of wish... I'm going to skip this cutscene because just so that we can get the actual frame rate of the game. But yeah, like I said, borderless, it goes to the, it actually goes to the monitor's refresh rate, which for me was 75. And naturally, it plays fine. It looks fine. We're getting 120 FPS. Obviously, at some point, the RAM and the CPU is going to be the bottleneck for me. So I'm not really worried. Her skirt's flo flowing around a bit oddly, but other than that, we are getting over 120 FPS on average. I'd say that this is a win. This will run here fine. So yeah, if you're wondering why the GPU isn't maxed out, obviously, for obvious reasons. <laughs> this game is very easy to run. But, we have limitations around here. And I am, once again, going way above... I wouldn't recommend this by the way, I just want to show you guys how it's running, but I would not recommend testing it like this, like, you could easily just, oh you're telling me how to run, I've already been running bro. This, this is just to make up for the fact that I can't do 4k because of the setup I have, um, I, I have to use the VGA HDMI to run this, so I can't actually do 4k, that's the only reason why I have it like this. Not that it matters, we're going to test this on everything today, so this is, like I said, this is probably going to be the easiest one, obviously, this is going to be the massive one, but the integrated graphics are going to be interesting, it seems like this runs really well, like I could have done 4K on this, and this would have been fine, probably still over 100 FPS if I'm being honest with you. So it will be curious to see what the integrated graphics can do at 720p and whatnot. The CPU is still being used, but what am I what am I saying? The CPU is not being used at all. I mean, I'm running at like 200 FPS right now. Holy crap! Look at this, the insanity of it all. I'm running over 200 FPS. But anyway, you get the drift of it. So I'm gonna drop this back down. You get the gist. What I want to see now is, is it consistent? Will it consistently stay at the 75 or will it drop? That's the next thing I like to always figure out. Will it have stutter? There isn't any stutter, by the way, if that's what you were wondering about. Like, it has been playing quite nicely, but to be fair, I have been running over 200 FPS, so you know. So let's figure that out here now. Yeah, I'm seeing some screen tearing, but once again, I kind of disabled VSync everywhere. <laughs> everywhere just to get it to run like this so yeah even with the door opening I just noticed a little hiccup there but nothing that no, no, no micro stutter it wasn't a micro stutter so yeah it seems to run solid regardless we're only using 3.6 gigabytes of RAM which is 
way less than that because my memory was oh there was a stutter there for the most part it seems quite smooth though even at 75 I think the fact that this is using 28% of CPU usage is is baffling to me it is baffling to me that my CPU is even getting going this high for this game what is this game willing 2008 or was it 11 I can't even remember <laughs> I'm more excited to test out the 630, which is what is going to test next, and then I'm probably going to do the Iris, then the R9 maybe, then the 4600, or the 620, one of them. Just stay tuned, they all will be coming out in quick succession. We want to get to the bottom of this and see exactly how good this port is. Listen, it's better than the last, last few, okay? Koei Tecmo sucks at porting these damn games. They suck at it. This one seems decent. Or, I may be saying that, but it's just because Maiden of Blackwater came out way after this. So, realistically speaking, Maiden of Blackwater just looked better. And that's why it was more demanding and more poorly optimized. It's hard to mess this up when this is such an old game, you know? It's hard to mess it up. And that may be an issue. That may be why, if I'm being honest with you. Which is why this is running so well. I'm afraid I can't do that. I got places to be, lady. 1.2 gigabytes of RAM is nice. I love that. Love to see that. Love to see that. Because they just came from playing for Spoken. <laughs> love to see that, dude. But yeah, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. Uh, the 630 is coming up next, so let's hope that that runs, you know, decent. <laughs> I like how he said I was gonna say close to this. Like, what, what madness? Look for a key. Where? There is no key. I'll see you guys next time.